There's a lot of secret tips and tricks for getting the most out of Google search and I'm about to show it to you right now. So first things first, if you want to find an exact match of something, not something similar but exact, you can put it in quotation marks. So maybe I want to open up a dance school called Mamboverse Dance, right? So I could put this in quotation marks and it will tell me if there's anything that comes up as Mamboverse Dance. And you could see that it says here, no results found for Mamboverse dance however there are results for mamboverse dance without quotes and then we could go ahead and see what it says there also i can go ahead and search my company promo ambitions llc let's see how many citations across the web have my company as promo ambitions llc and you could see a lot of news articles libraries posting about my artificial intelligence presentations this is very very helpful to see exactly how i'm popping up and how i'm being showcased across the web now i'm trying to remember this quote that i read earlier on in my life it really had an impact on me and it said something about the weight of today plus that of tomorrow or something about a load making uh, strong people falter, right? So if I wanted to search for that and I just say load falter quote and I search for that, you'll see that we're not really getting anything helpful here. So these are not the quotes I'm looking for. But if I went ahead and put it in double quotation marks and said load plus falter plus quote and I hit enter, you're now going to see that I actually found the quote and you could see that in the first couple of results, it's the exact quote I was looking for. And the quote goes, the load of tomorrow added to that of yesterday carried today makes the strongest falter. And this is so helpful. I was able to find this because I used the double quotation marks to get the exact results. So by using the pluses, you're basically telling it, find something that has load, falter, and quote in it. And it was able to find it so much better than without the quotation marks. We can also use a site operator. So for instance, let's say I want to see everything that Forbes is saying about Donald Trump. If I just type in Forbes Donald Trump, you'll see that I am getting a Forbes article here, but I'm also getting the Palm Beach Post article, NDTV, Wikipedia, Yahoo. This is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for Forbes Donald Trump articles. So what I could do here is type in site colon and then the domain which is forbes.com and then in quotation marks i will type in donald trump and then if i hit enter you're gonna see it's all forbes articles look at how helpful this is now you don't have to sift through many pages to find the forbes articles you can find them right here extremely helpful here's something interesting you probably didn't know the asterisk, which is this symbol here, can actually be used as a wild card. So you're basically allowing Google to fill in a blank. So check this out. I can say worst asterisk for weight loss. And if I hit enter, you're going to see it's going to say worst drinks for weight loss, foods to avoid when trying to lose weight, worst diet plans, worst vegetables, worst salad dressings, best and worst alcohol for weight loss. So you see it's filling it in. We can also search by file type. So I could type in file type colon PDF and then I'll type in resume templates. And you're going to see here that everything that we see as a result is actually going to be a PDF, which is really helpful. Then we could just go and download it. Now, this used to be really cool because you could do file type MP3 and then type in like Drake or The Weeknd or Britney Spears or whatever you want to search for. But they got rid of that because I think they started to have intellectual property issues. So there are also shortcuts like you could type in map colon jeffersonville vermont and if you take a look it's going to show you a map of jeffersonville vermont now if you type in something that's a little more popular like san francisco you're going to see that it shows you a really neat map of san francisco and these results they're going to be different than google maps i actually highly recommend you play with that you can also do something like stocks colon tesla and what's gonna happen here is it's gonna show you a ton of information on the ticker symbol TSLA because that's Tesla. And if you hit more about Tesla Inc., it will show you a whole plethora of information. If you wanna check the weather, you can type in weather colon Jeffersonville VT 
and that's gonna be Jeffersonville, Vermont, and you could see it provides the weather for you. There are so many other tips and tricks to discover within Google search, so if you want me to cover some other neat tips and tricks, let me know. I utilize Google Maps, Google Drive, Google Sheets. I absolutely love a lot of the Google platforms, and I always go in and try to play with the advanced features because it's fun and it just helps you to master things. I mean, honestly, we spend so much time using Google search. We may as well use these neat tips and tricks inside of it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know which other platform you wish for me to cover next, and hopefully I'll see some of you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.